Creepings and hallucinations. I'm the rusty spoon in your sock drawer, just a ghost, and welcome to Shocking Theater. I'm taking over for the night. Hikaru has the week off. This was a last minute decision, don't blame him. Tonight's movie is the first and possibly only film directed by its top build star if you can call him that, John Hall. There is a movie that he is listed for having directed after this, but it's uncredited, so I don't know if that counts or not. This is what I learned on IMDb. It also features, besides John Hall, it features a kids' show host from the L.A. area and one of the puppets he designed, and the theme song was written written by Frank Sinatra's son, Frank Sinatra Jr. Huh? Huh? Sound good? Oh, well, it's a surf movie, so that's gotta be good. There's gonna be dancing girls in it, and surfboards, and stuff. And it's a monster movie, because it's got a sea monster that looks marginally better than the one from Creature from a Haunted Sea. And it's got a puppet. Just not a Muppet. But, is this movie good? You'll have to find out by watching Beach Girls and the Monster. Here, on Shocking Theater. Oh, I am going to be tough for this one. Ride, baby, ride, ride, I could do those moves too, but no. My, 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 I won't get head tracking now. But, but I totally do that. Ooh, DuPont. Make her fine chemicals. Ah, I can't read any of that. So blurry. Yeah, that's the one that was written by Frank Sinatra Jr., guys. Ooh, the Marquis de Sade. Ooh, the gardener wrote the screenplay. Don't worry, John, we just went down the hall. No, I'm not going to stop ever making fun of this. See, I can totally do that. I, I could be one of the ski go-go dancers. Totally. Surfing put me in a bikini. Don't put me in a bikini, please. It's too cold for that. Ah, such a beautiful gray day. The water is nice and gray. Hey, Tom, what are you doing out there? Making like a fish? Hey, do you want to wait for him? Nah, uh, I'm hungry. We could starve before he gets in. I'm with you. Well, you might want hey, to get him. You might, you might want to help him. Looks like he's having trouble. Yeah, that's what those girls do all day. They just dance on the beach. Oh, good. I think that I, I think that was the uh, tape recorder from um, the Evil Dead movies. Mustard? And some pickle relish. Wow. And just a little bit of sand. Yum. <laughs> Are you gonna eat that guitar? I'll, I'll eat it. I'm hungry. I could use a hot dog right now. And I do like pickle relish, even though that was a little bit much for me. Ah, he just ran me over. Oh, oh, I think they're coming at me again. 
Uh, oh, oh, well, oh, good, they fell. Oh! Well, uh, looks like they're gonna have a popular drink. Kids, ask your parents. Oh, oh, oh. Well, he is eating some sand, it looks like. I think this is the Joker's origin story. I think she's the Joker. Ran away from her boyfriend and just one day couldn't stop laughing. Um, you might want to put that strap back up there. Our kid's watching. Maybe. Actually, if you're watching at this time of night... Yeah, let's go to this break. Enjoy yourselves! I'm not gonna blame you. I watched USA at this time of night. Uh, oh, that was when all the fun movies run. Mmm. Slimy. Um, you got something h hanging off you? Oh. Oh, is that- Oh, please, wipe your butt. Uh, yeah, like I said, only Mark. Oh, okay. You know what? Scrap that. The creature from the haunted sea monster was better. And that's saying something. She's right there. She, 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 she's right there, Marianne. That's not a yellow polka dot bikini. More of a dark gray polka dot bikini. Stuck for the door car chase in progress. I think you're going after O.T. Simpson. Um, I don't think the cops are going to give you a lift there, buddy. right down there. Okay, which one of you punks did it? Uh, don't fall. Uh, that's how you break your leg. I saw that in the miniseries. <laughs> Where's the body? She's over there, Sheriff. Follow me. All right, where were you kids when this thing happened? Well, I was just there with the Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, I don't think they appreciate when you talk over yourselves like that. What's your full name? Richard Lindsay. Adams, Where do you James, live, Richard? Robert, right up there in that house. Bunsen, Honeydew. Hey, Scott, come here! Scott? Great Scott! What do you make of this? Somebody's got really weird feet. Clover's oh, crap. It's Ega! Where does the other end go? It dumps into the ocean. I mean, you might want to investigate that. Because there's no water go. Well, Sheriff, it's not the claw print of any I want that as a, um, a transition. The can't tie it down either. They suggested that you, being an authority on fish, might know what it is. Oh, well, it's amazing. It that looks, exactly like that looks like more of a plaster cast of a footprint than a fish. That's a carnivorous man eater. It can live in or out of water. It weighs about 100 pounds. Well, that's a pretty good size, but whatever made that print had to weigh at least 250 pounds or more. Well, I'm afraid that's the best I can do for you. It certainly looks like the Fantigua to me. It could be a mutation, of course. Some of the studies we've been doing here at the lab on mutations are amazing. Mutated? Could this uh, Fantigua fish grow large enough to come out on land? I mean, could it breathe out of water? Oh, 
That's, that's still a plaster cast. That is not a fish. Why do you think that's a fish? I hope you can take one alive, Sheriff. It would be a boom to sign. Now, hold on, Doctor. I still believe that a human clawed that girl to death, not a fish, no matter Probably how. Probably with a rake. We'll get him too. Probably some madman or one of those surfers that hang around the beach all the time. They're capable of anything, even murder. You think so? Strange. I always found them to be a nice bunch of kids just trying to find themselves. <laughs> They'll find themselves in your jail one day. I tell you, Sheriff, something's got to be done about them. Old the man yells at Cloud Dean the right the there, folks. They, they I, absolutely nothing back in my inside. day, well, that's not my when, when so fish right came now, came out of the water and started attacking help. people, the at the lab about this, uh, uh, fish just we just, we just used pitchforks and torches and hunted them down. Please, eh. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye. Eh. And those kids, those young whippersnappers, get off my beach! <laughs> Why does he keep a picture of Ronald Reagan on his desk? Ooh, now, uh... This is a surf movie. Honey, I was swimming just where she was killed just a few hours before. It could have been me. I should have stayed around. I missed all the excitement. So, yeah. One of his friends has been murdered. Mean anything to you? What should it mean to me? Hi, Ginger. What's the matter, Richard? Oh Sorry, no, it's just gonna turn into picture. one of those um stepmother movies. You know, we should really try to get along together. For your father's sake. Just one big happy family. Save some of that jazz for Dad, Vicky. He's the one that needs it. Well, oh, I'm her name is Vicky. Don't could be worse, that. it could be Debbie. So exactly what you've been doing. Oh, and what have I been doing? Just keep away from me, Vicky. Don't push me too far. Well, let me see. Um, he's been he's been drinking. You're not fit to be anybody's mother. Don't ever do that again, Vicky. I'm warning you. Warning me? <laughs> now you sound like Otto when he's in one of his crazy tantrums. Vicky, Richard. Where are you? Remember We're where in I here. In the bar, darling. I'm just putting my clothes back on. We were doing one of those stepmother movies. Hi, son. I bumped into the sheriff as I was pulling in. He told me about Bunny. I'm sorry, son. It's a tragic thing to have happen. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Since you were blaming all those surfing yeah. kids for... Everything, including World War Three. She's been taking this pretty hard. Oh, I was hoping we could spend some time together. Some interesting things have been happening over at the lab. Remember that experiment you were helping me with? Dad, not tonight. Jane's been half out of her mind over this. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Can I see you a minute, Rich? Good evening, sir. Evening, Mark. See you in the morning, Dad. Yeah, this is the surfer kids that you're so up against. One of them's your son, and your son's buddy. Who's very, he seems very too polite. Much time for you lately, has he? Ah, uh, he hasn't been in the lab for months. Ever since the accident, he's let his work slip. Just hangs around the beach with those tramps. Vicky, I just can't understand his attitude. They, 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 they look like kids to I me, not Mark tramps. That limp's pretty I mean, tramp was a dog, wasn't home. he? Lady like and the tramp? I was just being nice. That was over a year ago. How long are they going to stay? Well, after all, Richard was driving when they had the accident. He still feels responsible for the injury to Mark's leg. So his brakes went out. It wasn't his fault. I wonder who Does cut he have those to brakes. Mark for the rest of his Vicky. Life? Do we all? Vicky, he's my son, and this is his home. If he wants Mark here, if he feels it's important, we'll all have to make the best of it. Your son, everything for your son. What about me? Me, me, and me. Mark. See, see, she's very Debbie. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. House. I am waiting for the slideshow. Oh, Otto, you're blind. Can't you see he's using you? He's taking advantage of you. Why, that accident was the luckiest thing that ever happened. You all must took advantage of him. And sure, his soft touch. He'll lean more and more on Richard. He'll take him away from you completely. Just as he's taken him from your lab. He can't do that. Not after all the plans I've made. 
Richard and I are going into research. I planned it for years. Oh, Lord, am I sick of hearing about that. Otto, you're hurting me. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. Until I met you, my only happiness was planning for my son. Vicky, I love you both very much. Nothing or no one will ever take you yeah. away from me. All right, Otto. Totally Let's love him. It. You get so emotional. Oof, I'll be bruised for weeks. I'm sorry, dear. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. All right, Otto. Let's go. It's late. Oh, where are you going? Had you forgotten the board of directors dinner tonight? Good Lord, I, I did forget. I don't suppose we could get out of it. Hardly. You know, I do so look forward to those cozy little dinners. Let's talk about the murder tonight and really shake them up. Oh, Vicky, stop it. Come on, let's go. Important meetings. You're wrong about Vicky. You just don't understand her. You don't oh, give her a somebody chance. loves Let's his best friend stepmom. What do you want to see me about? Oh, a couple of things. One, Dale dropped by some film he said you wanted to see. Oh, the film on Hawaii. Where is it? It's on the projector. And I wanted to show you something I did. Let's take a look at it. I'll just have time to run it before I go to Janie's. What is it with you and this surfing jazz? All of a sudden, it's such a big thing. Listen, Mark. I'm just beginning to realize there's more to life than just uh, test tubes and fish. I'm going to live a There's nothing I more in life than test tubes and fish. Grab my girl and get married. And then in I'm fact, surf on the beach that's all I have around me right now is test tubes and fish. I've got a feeling that is not what And it's beginning to stink really bad in here. I get those fish out of those test tubes. Him, well, I've got to live my own life, Mark, not the one Dad's picked out for me. Life's too short. Today proved it, Bunny's gone just like that. I just want to store up some happiness for Janie and me before our time comes. Rich, if the accident or my living in this house has caused you to change your plans, to give up your career... Mark, the accident just opened my eyes to what I've been doing. Or rather, what I haven't been doing. I want you to stop taking life so seriously. Man, it goes yeah, you should. That fast. would be a good idea. Too fast to waste. I mean, if I took life seriously, do you think I'd be doing this? Will I'd be watching this movie? Is great. No, I'd probably watching, be watching a good movie. Ah, blind, right in my eyes. I can totally surf, too. Totally. I, I, I'm a great surfer. Mm -hmm. I'm the best surfer. Just, just so you know. No, I can do that. You know, if I, if I wasn't in here you know, in wintertime and it was ice cold, I, I totally, I, and my knees weren't so bad, and my ankles weren't so bad, and my elbows weren't so bad, and my joints weren't so bad, I would totally avoid doing that. I'm going to rock out right now. Oh, the water's going to eat you. Okay, you know, if I was more prepared, I would have a clip of Batman and the Joker surfing in this. But I'm not, and I'm lazy, so I'm not going to. That's why I don't surf. I'm lazy. You know, I totally could do that if I wasn't so lazy. Definitely that part, the wiping out part. That, that, oh, yep, I could do that too. They probably lived on an ocean. I probably drowned him there. This is the most interesting part of the movie. That's why I'm moving. I'm, I'm trying to stay awake. Oh, that was an ending. Ow, my head! Boy, I've got to show these to Janie. She'll flip. Hey, I've got to get going. Hold it. Hold it. Now, there's something else I want to show you, and it'll only take a minute. All right, buddy, what is it? It's in my room. Come on. Oh, going into his room. He's over here. Rich? This ah, he's got his own pizza oven. It looks like Bunny. Uh, I used her as a model a couple of months ago. I was wondering, do you think her folks would like to have it now? I'm sure they would. That's Why don't you take disturbing it over looking. To well, it might be better if you took it over. I've never met her folks. Come on, Mark. Why don't you get off it? Stop being afraid of people. You made it. You take it over. Yeah, I guess you're right. He's an All introvert. Right. I'll take it over tomorrow. Yeah, I've got to get going. Say, why don't you come with me? 
We'll stop by Bunny's house on the way back. Oh, I, I can't tonight. I've, I've got to work on Vicky's statue. Yeah. I'll see you. Uh, so you love your best friend's stepmom. This... Ah! Ah! I that oh I'm scarred. Oh that was woof. It was just like gray on gray on gray on gray. And the expression was just like, oh that's the real monster of this movie. Should we beat the girls in the statue of Vicky? Sure, you don't mind if we don't go down on the beach today. After Bunny, I. Of course not. I understand. Besides, there's plenty of sun around the pool. You know, I still can't realize she's gone. Such a horrible death. The killer must be some kind of monster to car up like that. Well, movie is Beach bad. Girls and the Monsters, and you are a Let's Beach Girl. Let's try and forget it. I still love you. Remember? No. Oh. Mother. My, my, what a touching little scene. Hi, oh, wow. I do not think... Oh, she is melting in that. How nice. What a nice breeze. Well, I'm going down to the beach before I play model for Mark. So you'll have the house all to yourself. Oh, she's hoping to come back uh, to some... Have fun, children. Oh, yeah, she's... Don't, Richard. Definitely looking forward to coming back and them um, doing things, especially since um, her stepson looks to be her age. Or older. You're right, it is beautiful by the pool. Let's go to the bar, I want to talk to you. Okay. Yeah, I'll get you a drink, you'll... No, thanks. You say you don't want coke. It's too bad the killer made a mistake. He should have hit her highness, the evil queen. That's nothing to joke about. Who's joking? The charming conversation she gave us just now will show you what's on her mind most of the time. How a man like Dad fell into that. He's well known in yeah, the Yeah, she, she is hoping to see you two doing it and uh, join in, I guess. Fish duck. Real dignity, huh? I know how you feel, Richard, but she's still his wife, and there's no way you can change that. If he could only see her for what she really is. Two-timing, cheating... Hey, are you gonna let her ruin our whole day? I thought we were going swimming. You're right, lady, come yeah, on. Yeah, you know, you should just calm down. You're in a monster movie. Something's gonna happen to her, don't worry. Then you'll be at one step, Mom. It's amazing. Every time she sees me, she's just got to bug me. Of course. She knows just how to get you mad, and you haven't sense enough to realize that she's doing it on purpose. You're not terribly bright, are you? You know, oh, I really burn. don't know what I see in you. Oh, that's so. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that's why I'm taking the shirt off. I didn't see her put Pretty that on. Nice, but watch this. Eric! Hi, Janie. Hi, Mark. Come on in, Mark. That's what she sees in him. That's just it. Mark's Vicky's coming over to pose this afternoon. She'll be here any minute. Not this minute. She just left for a swim down at the beach. Oh? She'll be gone at least an hour. Come in for a swim, Mark. It'll do your leg good. No, no, I can't. Uh, maybe later. Come on, Mark. It won't hurt you to get wet. Oh, come on. Wet. Oh, cut it out, Rich. That isn't funny. Oh, hey, my Mark, God. You, you got some weird plant thing Sorry. on her head. Kind of edgy today, I guess. It must be one of the monster eggs. I, uh, just left bunnies, folks. No wonder the monster's killing people. You. Well, how'd they like it? They're wearing it's a fake on her head. But they're taking it pretty hard. Well, would you? Still no clue as to who killed her. And Bunny's dad is really upset. You wouldn't believe what he thinks of the sheriff. Well, you can't blame him. The whole thing gives me the creeps. It was so horrible. What gets me is... We were all so close and couldn't do anything. 
If only she could have screamed to let us know she was in trouble, maybe we Yeah, but she was out of breath more that Our parents don't blame any of you. They understand. I guess must have had a long conversation with the parents. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, you two were supposed to be swimmers. So, swim! Hey, so it's all right for you to throw me in the pool, huh? You're the water lover around here, sport, not me. Oh, cut out, Tarzan! That's right, you Tarzan, her Jane. <laughs> Well, he's wearing the leopard print, so I'm gonna say the Tarzan and he Jane. Hey, I better get out of here before I get killed. I'll see you later. God, he sounds like a newscaster. But I worry about him. He spends too much time by himself. You're gonna be by yourself if you don't watch out. You never pay any attention to me. Yeah, he's paying too much attention to his stepmom. That's a relationship that they really need to fix. Mouthful of chlorine. Okay, That'll definitely Watch get this. things going. Watch close now. This is the kind of dive you won't see every day. <laughs> I can believe that. Belly flop. Winging. Smooth jazz here in Shock Theater. Up next, uh, the, the monster performing his uh, greatest hits of um, murder. As you can see, it's gone to experimental jazz now. I hope you enjoy listening to this on Shock Theater tonight. Yeah. And, and, you know, you can probably move a little faster. You, you'd be able to get her then. No? No? No, you, you don't want to be in the sun? Well, I guess it's time to get out of the way. Maybe get a fresh ghillie suit. Might make you look better. I think the rest of it just kind of blew away there in the wind. Hmm. Why? God. You know, that is a great sculptor, B. Arthur. Hi. Am I late? Only about an hour and a half. Where were you? I thought I'd take a swim. Well, you're here now. Shall we get started? Don't be so grumpy, darling. I'm ready. In the wrong position. Pushy. He's letting you stay in her house you know, for you free. You artists fascinate me. You're so different from other men. Not in all ways. Men are men. Before I married Otto, I had a lot of friends. All men, of course. They're so much easier to get along with. You keep moving. He's not easy to get along with. But Why you let him stay in your house? Friends. I'll never mind. Back to the smooth chest here in front of the theater. I'll bet you know what it's like to be lonely. Oh. You do understand. Oh, he's not just some oh, just have the really hots for her. Lonely, aren't you? Please, Vicky. Oh, Mark, don't you think we run this little game into the ground? But Vicky. But Vicky, what? Did you think I'd make love to a cripple? Be grateful for small favors, Mark. Okay, you're. I. I, I... Good kill her. I could kill her. And, oh, yep, there's a body under there. I've seen that movie before. Ooh, oceanic research. 
Dad should be out of the lab any minute now. Thanks for coming along. I've got a feeling he's going to lecture me. I'm not up to it today. Uh-oh, here comes Big Daddy now. Here comes Big Daddy now, here at Smooth Labs. Thanks for picking me up. K-J-A-C-Z. K-Jazz. Here at Chuck Peter. Well, Mark, how'd to go at the doctors today? About the same. Still no feeling in the leg. I keep telling him we should be giving it more exercise. Why don't you come swimming with us tonight and work it out a little? Swimming? I thought you said you'd come back to the lab with me after dinner. I'm sorry, Dad. Janie and I are going to a big party down on the beach tonight. I should have checked with her sooner. Check with Jane? What about your work? How much longer do you think I can make excuses for you at the lab? I want to talk to you about that, but not now. Why not? Mark knows how I feel. We can talk in front of him. It's got nothing to do with Mark. Not he so just sure. does not want to talk about you work. Like this before this is father-son bonding look, time, don't you I know? I spent years and money building up a reputation for you to follow him. Now look, son, what are you thinking of? Dad, look out. I've had enough accidents for a while. I'm sorry. But you're driving me crazy with this I don't care attitude of yours. Richard, what are you going to do? Rich, pull over here. We're almost home. I can walk back. Then you and your dad can talk it out. Buddy, what kind of a friend are you? Mark's right. Let him out. We want to talk this out right now. Yeah, just push him right out of a moving vehicle. Well, not moving anymore. I mean, it never was. It was just rear projection screen right out off to the side. You said I needed the exercise, remember? So long. Yeah, no, see how he's All backing right, out? Now hear me out without interrupting, okay? Okay. While I was in the hospital, I realized how close Mark and I came to being killed. You know, they say your whole life flashes before you? Well, mine did. Dad, ever since high school and college, all I've done is study and work. We never did take those vacations we talked about. We spent them all in the lab. I thought you liked the work we did together. Enjoyed oceanography. I did. I do. But I want a little vacation. I want to find out about the other things in life. Dad, I want to play. Like with. birds. Play. And bees. Good Lord, Richard, there's more and to basketball. Life than play. It's a serious business. Now and football. Lost, you can never and get American football. Again. I don't want them back. And European football. I give up what I found for anything. And, and balls made of feet. Found. That you can swim in the ocean on a board. Do you think those beach tramps will help your career? Or do you expect me to finance your playtime forever? Ah, I just back right into the reflection screen. Too much of a burden for you. Uh. Don't you just love when families get along so well? I know I do. Um, you might want to get a little away from that fire. I think your hair is quite flammable there, Vicky. Well, what's the fight about this time? Oh, my son prefers a life of play to work. So, who doesn't? Well, I won't allow it. I will not stand by and see him throw his life away. He needs... Well, that's for his own good. I'll stop him somehow. Sure you will. Don't you care about this? Well, you could me. always, you know, um... I've had it up to here with you and your precious son. I don't care what you do with him. Now, Just you know, a little chloroform could help. So that's what it's come to with us. Is there nothing left? We didn't have a heck of a lot to start with, lover. You got what you paid for. There were no guarantees. Oh, Vicky, can't we? We can't anything. Can't you get that through your head? Wow, she's in a mood. She, 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 there, there, there's like... Pr probably, you know, a good chunk of ice in her throat. Oh, ow. That's gonna hurt the hand. You know, you really should go swimming. That would help with the leg. It's very low resistance exercise. Or Low impact exercise, lots of resistance. Really good for your legs. Honest, it's, it's great. It's great exercise. I would love to swim more. Dancing is also great exercise too.
I think I'm getting hit by a butt. Yep, there, they're rubbing their butt against. Okay, no, no rubbing the butt against the screen, please. He is getting a uh, very good look at their stomachs. So are we. Somebody's killing a cat. I remember when all this stuff was scandalous. Um, please keep it in your pants. Oh, okay. Okay, stop playing with your knee. Please keep your shirt on. And keep your shirt on too, lady. No offense. What did you want? Um, I don't think she's that interested in you right now, dude. Don't you feel anything for me anymore? Ah, we've been married five years. The honeymoon's over. Not for me, it isn't. <laughs> Otto, stop it. Becky, I love you very much. You love your son. And those stupid fish. But you knew that five years ago. And now she is a cold fish. For months on end, you've left me alone in this house. You and Richard tied to that lab of yours. Well, if you'd really loved me, you would have taken me out. Gone on trips. Well, hundred things married people do together. Not use me. Yeah, everybody's saying get out of the house, dude. Maybe you should listen. I have given you everything you've ever asked for. There are some things even I'm money drink. can't buy. Oh, please, darling. Here's my drink. Let's start all over again. You've always wanted to go to Europe. We can see Paris. It's too late, Otto. Can't you understand? It's too late. Vicky, we can't go you... on like this. Can't you even try to make a new start? Yes, I'd like a new start, away from you. I won't let you go, Vicky. Do you think you could stop me? How? How, Otto? You're mine, and I keep what's mine, always. Um, that's not a very I'll healthy try. attitude, dude. I wouldn't count on it. She, she is her own woman. Oh, what's the use? Yeah. Oh. Hello, He's calling. Paul. I can't wait to see you either, darling. It has been a long time. Well, I'm ready now. Oh. <laughs> no trouble at all. She must be calling our cult junior. I'll just going out with the girls. Uh-huh. Okay. Malibu Shack. About half an hour. Okay, now don't be late. You know, that is okay. one good thing about modern technology. Uh, it's a lot harder to do that on a cell phone. Very easy to do it on a landline. Oh, Vicky. Oh. I remember the days when I was young. What is it? I'd pick up the phone Where do you think you're going? and I'd hear the dial. I, I, I would hear the lovely sound of a modem. You've got a date, haven't you? Why, Otto, you do surprise me. Vicki, I don't want you going out tonight. There's a killer loose around the beach. A killer? Oh, really, Otto? That's reaching, even for you. Touch um, there's somebody dead. This movie is full of stupid people, isn't it? And bongo drums.
and Dancing Girls. And Dancing Guys. And Dancing Beards. And Dancing Bongos. God, how old is he? Probably like 30. Nah, I'm in the 20s. He looks like a lot younger than him, though. John Hall really has a fascination with these girls' bottoms. Also, they have the signs already prepared for you know, their friends. Ah, a jug band of these instruments. Ah, good old days of spring classes. Uh, I'm tired. Oh, uh, they're gonna go for a very popular drink. They're gonna go hide and do it. Okay, you can move the camera now. Let them have their privacy, please. Thank you. No, 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 no. Let them have their privacy. No, they're, they're, they're adults. I do not want to see that face coming at me ever again, though. Oh, you're a pervert. Pervert monster. Oh boy, he is, he's going to be playing with his, his, his fish eggs. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Oh, me! Hey, Rich. Yeah? Play that new song, will you? Which one is that? More than wanting you. Sure. B -b 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 -play, play that funky music, white boy. Just don't get an arm here caught in the strings, okay? It's much more than my just wanting you And it's more than my mere having you Eh, could be worse, could be an Archibald Junior movie. We I'm not gonna show one of those yet. Lovers now and forevermore When I look into your eyes, my love Okay, Professor, you can stop singing that to Marianne. And I know the time has come. Yeah, you got more castaways now. And if I see Gilligan kissing the skipper, well, good for them. They deserve each other. They deserve happiness. He keeps missing notes, I think. Okay, I'm waiting for the two guys to kiss. I mean, this is a 1965 movie, so what am I thinking? Can't you see that we were meant to be? Well, yeah, at least a nice thing of polyamorous relationship, you know, on the on speech. But now I no longer feel alone, for I found a 
Sexy guitar close up. Mm. Hey, guitar. Oh, I, I like him looking at the guitar. Focus! I am leaving the premises. I am cutting out. There's creepy creatures going on. There's monsters around. Oh, I scared. There's a monster in the surf. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You got a monster in the surf. Yeah, you got a monster in the surf. There's the kid show puppet. That was the part as I went to it was fun. Where's Fidel Castro to the beach? Mm, he got part two, I guess, but... Let's check the action down the beach. Hey, let's get the surf! You, you are... And now they're gonna go surf. But there's a monster in the surf. I ain't got no surfboard. Let's go home. Oh, Tom! I left my fins up with a blanket! Could you get them for me? Oh, you need to get your hair Wow, well, um... Well, that's definitely one of the dancers. <laughs> oh, boy. This is... Maybe, maybe, use that stick, maybe you can play fetch with a monster. Can't you hear that music? There's something happening. There's something happening music, dude. Oh, they're too busy for uh, noodling. Well, he's dead. I should have set up a corpse counter for this one. You hear her yelling, but you couldn't hear your best friend screaming? A monster here on the beach? Look, he's all clawed up. Just like Bunny was. We'd better call the sheriff. Richard, you can't believe that I did it. I'll call the yeah, sheriff. Yeah, you better call the Brad sheriff. Things, will you? And Mark, you then didn't I do will. it. I believe you. I was a witness. They can call they can call me to testify anytime. So you are kind of a jerk. So I'll definitely testify to that too. And you're a TV presenter. You seem to have a TV presenter personality. When did this happen? Just before I called you. 20 or 30 minutes ago. Somebody sure got it in for you, kids. This makes two. You think there's a connection between Bunny's death and Tom's? Nobody else has sighted a monster, did you say? I know it sounds crazy, but I swear that's what I saw. You've got to believe me. I was walking down the beach when I saw Tom struggling with this, this thing. I called to you, but you didn't hear me. By the time I reached Tom... He was lying on the yeah, he did call. Dead. Well, what well you were to too busy thing, prepping for canoodling. I tried to follow, but it was too late. This Listen to the man. I saw him! Jokey Tom! Kill him, Tom! You did it! You, you, you! Easy now. Take it easy. She's crazy. She's wrong. 
Sheriff. We'll go down to the station, and you, young lady, can make a written statement of what you've seen. Are you arresting Mark, Sheriff? Not for the moment. I just want his statement. This young lady's made a serious charge. I've got to look into it. Scott, stay here with the body till the ambulance comes, will you? I want pictures of the small area. Oh, oh you're not, not going to let the police know that you found a clue? Well, you now you're messing with evidence, dude. Sue's pretty upset. Does she have to come You want my statement? I saw the whole thing. Give her a sedative. A sedative? I'll take a sedative. It's no use. So your friend saw a monster, eh? A good spat, Sheriff. But I can't believe he'd kill anyone. I know, Mark. Well, somebody's out after you kids, and right now he gets my vote. Why he? Oh, Mark, you're full of bad decisions, aren't you, man? Uh, this whole movie's a bad decision. Evening, Paul. Just like old times. I'll call you soon. Oh, she can barely Bye. walk, huh? I wonder what he did to her. Woo! Mmm. Oh, <laughs> woo woo! And a. <laughs> that means they had adult happy fun time children. Actually, she's probably just drank. You know, you can stop playing with the wind chimes any time now. I know you had a little bit to drink, and uh, probably a good big old plate of beans or something to make that wind chime go off like that. Yes, that was a fart joke. Hmm. Sultry walk on the linoleum. Every 50s, uh, husband's dream. Too bad you're in the 60s. The swinging 60s. No, I won't behave. Oh, oh, a little hair of the dog, huh? You know what you need is a little hair of the pup. Looks like uh, she's gonna be full of bad decisions. This movie is full of bad decisions. That's what this movie is. It's Bad Decisions, the movie. Bad Decisions, the motion picture. Now in theaters! Somebody had a little too much to drink tonight. And it wasn't me. And all I got was my Pepsi. No, I, I could use some Junior Mints. I should have gotten some Junior Mints while I was at the snack bar. Huh. Oh. Be careful. Careful. Mark. That's where the phone calls come from. It's sticky. They come from the attic. Mark? Is that you, Mark? Yes, yeah, Mark. I'm not Mark. I'm Justy. Hi, nice to meet you. No, thank you. Not interested. I prefer my partners in full color. Not shades of gray. But definitely not wrestling with fish people. With rubber fish monsters. Well, 
Well, Mark's getting the chair. What does that monster have have against Mark here, huh? I mean, sure, he's kind of a dick. Kind of needy. Kind of greed. But at the same time, maybe you should just find him another place to live. Maybe a good doctor to help take care of his leg. Maybe a shrink. Oh, now he's breaking into people's homes. He must be clipped. Hey, take it easy. It's my car you're driving, remember? Don't worry. Yeah, you just literally went... The car just went through you. You know, that's the first time I was ever in a police station. All those questions... I know what you mean. They made me feel guilty. I sure wish now I it's police's boy. job. Make everybody feel Richie, guilty. Do you think the sheriff was right? Oh, God, you're I really riding that guy's bumper. You know, no wonder you were an accident. What if it isn't a person at all? Some kind of a sea monster. Oh, that's a scary thought. I don't think I'll ever go down on that beach again. Not till the killer's caught anyway. You know, Dad and I were working on mutations at the lab a few months ago. Yeah, I'm not sure the killer Switzer could be. Put out a paper on the same thing. Seems that by certain radioactivity in KCL beams, it grew mm -hmm. to three times its normal size. It you could really be, um, the boredom that this movie's Mark's giving. Uh, that's probably why they have, no that's probably what caught him in the face is this movie's boredom. The only thing the sheriff has on him is Sue's accusation. He wasn't even on the beach when Bunny was killed. Well, we didn't see him anyway. No, it's not Mark. I had a very funny feeling about all this. Why hasn't anyone else seen the killer? Why has it struck only one of our people? What could it possibly have against us? What if the killer is someone we know? Maybe it's something about the area. Listen, no, I know who the killer is. What's your got to do because I've seen this movie before. What if there's some place for the killer to return to, to hide and wait in? That rock cave, for instance. Hey, where are you going? I'm taking you home, and I'm going back to the beach and look around. Oh no, you don't. I'm going with you. If you're not, it might be dangerous. Well, then I'm definitely not going to let you go down there alone. I'm going with you, and that's that. Yeah, you got Marianne with you. You're safe. She's too adorable to die. Nobody in their right mind would kill somebody as adorable as her. But then again, there's a killer, so... Um... What are we looking for? I don't know. Something that shouldn't be here, I guess. Well, the sheriff's men have been all over the sand, and they haven't found anything. No, you could use a flashlight. That might help. I'll just be a minute, honey. Okay, be careful. It's awfully dark in there. Don't fall! Oh, got a flashlight. Aim it at the wall. You can find a lot of stuff by aiming the flashlight at the wall. There's the killer. Mr. Puddin. Hi, Mr. Puddins. Nice to see you again. Just a cat. I guess I was wrong. Couldn't find a thing. Where's your flashlight? I was so sure there was something about this place. Oh, let's get out of here. This whole place gives me the creeps. We'll go to my house and make you some hot coffee. Guess I'm not a detective after all. I'll have to find another way to help Mark. Yeah, maybe get him a good lawyer. He's gonna need one. Because the beach monster is framing Mark for a lot of bad shit. But not this music.
I'm enjoying this groovy music. If he smells her shoes. That's not a place for shoes. Shoes do not go on the counter, Mark. Now you go put those shoes back. Shoes do not go on the counter. You're not listening to me. He never listens to me. None of them ever listen to me. Nobody ever listens to me. I feel so unloved. What are you going to do with that knife? It's not how you pick a lock. You usually use a crowbar to pick a lock. We got the killer! It's a rubber mask. Detect the music. Dig that group of music. I'm digging it. I don't think you can help Mark now, dude. Okay, we've got about five minutes left. Movie's almost over. Come on, Mark, you can do it. And it's Colonel Mustard. My arch nemesis. <laughs> Not Colonel Mustard. I swore it was Colonel Mustard the first time I watched this. Well, at least now you know who the killer is. It's John Hall. Normally, the direct, somebody directing a movie starring themselves would, um... It's Richard's father! He just killed Mark! You've got to stop him, Sheriff. I think he's gone mad. Now, take it easy, son. We'll stop him. Hurry, Sheriff. He's getting away. No, he won't. He's still a car. Car 127. Car 127. This is Sheriff Michaels here. Come in. Over. Uh, 127 reporting. Scott here. Over. All right, Scott. Scott. Have to look out for a. Uh... Was he in that white MG that just took out? He must have taken Janie's car. Scott, it's a white MG convertible. He should Ooh. be passing you on the hill road. He must have driven a convertible. Apprehend immediately. Classy. Use extreme caution. It's our beach killer. He's. I just picked him up. He's turning into the Tri Canyon Road. And then he's going to turn into the Bud Canyon Road. I'll continue the chase until further instructions. Over. There's three Good, canyons that can hurt. I'll get the other canyons covered up. 10-4. He's boxed himself in. Attention all units. Attention all units in the Tri-Canyon Road area. Sheriff well, Michael I, I guess, I, I guess, dude, you don't have to, you know, go back to the lab in time soon. I'll cover the Cliff Mountain Road myself. Report immediately as soon as vehicle is sighted. 10-4. All right, you kids, let's go. What, you're gonna take the kids with? I, I would get another car to make sure that they're safe. You know, like, like a police officer should. Ah, that was loud. Somebody's strangling a siren. Why did he do it, Sheriff? I'm afraid he thought he was doing it for you. For me? That's right. How did you know? Did he talk to you? Were you in on it? Are you Colonel Mustard? I think he's Colonel Mustard, folks. I knew it was Colonel Mustard. It's always Colonel Mustard. My arch nemesis. 
I'm actually old enough to see if I can Michaels, find out. Calling Sheriff that. Michaels. Car 127 reporting. Come in, please. Over. Car 127 is what? Car 128. Um, I see nothing here. Suspect now turning into Cliff Mountain Road. You should sight him any minute now. Okay, so it's a mountain and a cliff at the same time. He's going to drive off of Cliff Mountain Road and uh, land on um, Wet Lake Road. Uh, followed by um, Dry Camel. I got him, Scott. Okay, 10 4. High speed car chase. Just blank the stair ahead. That's what I wanted to do. You know, you, you, you really do not want to drive on Cliff Mountain Road. Eventually, you'll hit Fed Man's elbow. Can't you go faster, Sheriff? Look, kid, relax. He's not getting away. I, are you sure about that? I, it looks like he's getting away. He's now in Hollywood Hills. Soon he's in Hollywood Times. I'm in San Francisco watching this movie. Can't you catch him, Sheriff? Not on these I don't think you need to catch him anymore. Well, you're an orphan now, Guess kid. Lost no. Look back there, Sheriff. You must have gone over the cliff. You're right. Come on. Yep. He went over the cliff. Cliff went over the cliff. On Mountain Cliff Road. I'm going down there. It's no use. You couldn't get within 50 yards of that car. Who would have thought? Who thought? Who thought? Who would have thought he would have gone off a cliff over of Mountain Cliff? He landed in Ditch Road. On Ditch Road. Fire Ditch Road. Oh, finally! Oh, finally! Silver! Yay! Oh, I'm so glad that's over. Oh, that's, uh... That was a rough one. My goodness. Oh, I am glad that is finally over. You can get some rest here. Oh, yeah, that was a 1960s beach monster movie. Got all the high value entertainment of a surfer movie. And a cheap monster movie. In one package. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't. I suffered. Probably be suffering through any other movies I host again. But, yeah. I don't know if I'll be hosting again anytime soon. I might. I might not. I don't know. I really didn't like it. It was poorly shot. I mean, oh, some of those shots were just horrid. Barely focused the camera at times, it seems like. The beach scene was fun. I kind of like that old party scene. I wish, you know, all the parties I went to were like that. That was fun. But. It wasn't a great movie, and the reveal at the end. I really feel unearned, you know? I mean, okay, yeah, I, I want to stop my son from making a mistake and, um, you know, screwing up his life, so I'm going to go murder his friends in a rubber monster suit. And I'm going to murder my, um, my, 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 my wife in a rubber monster suit. And my kid's best friend in a monster suit. That'll get my kid to come back to work at the lab? Or it'll just sink him into the depression he seems to be in, which is part of the reason why he wants a break. And just not a great movie. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, at least. I hope you enjoyed all of this. Oh, uh, Hikaru will be back next week, so until then, take care. Good fright. And pleasant screams.
I should have had the polo queued up. Bye.